Alright, we are going to consider the double sum over the non-negative integers of 1 over m plus n factorial. First we will manipulate it a little bit, then we will show its convergence, then we will find the value to which it converges exactly. So, this is a double sum, so we could hold the outer indexes indices constant and consider uh, specific indices on the inner sum. So first we will start with 1 over 0 plus 0 factorial, which is just 0 factorial. Then that will proceed to 1 over 1 factorial and 1 over 2 factorial and so forth. Now, next line would be m equals 1, so we'd start with 1 over 1 factorial plus 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus dot dot dot. And why don't we do one more line of math? Um, 1 over 2 factorial plus 1 over 3 factorial plus 1 over 4 factorial. And it'll continue on. Now, from the jump, we could see that this sum has something to do with e. The Maclaurin expansion for e to the x gives us this expression for e. So, how are we going to attack this? Obviously, it's going to have something to do with e. And we have this grid of sums. You might be tempted to add horizontally or vertically, but we're going to be a bit clever with how we do this. We're actually going to add diagonally. So we're going to add along the lines of this sort of snake. And the advantage of this is that it makes the structure that existed within the sum more apparent, which means you're going to get one over 0 factorial one time, 1 over 1 factorial two times, 1 over one over 2 factorial three times, 1 over 3 factorial four times, and so forth. So this is going to be equal to 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over plus 2 over 1 factorial plus 3 over 2 factorial, and so forth. And in general, it's going to be n plus 1 over n factorial. Now, this is our sum. We could consider this in the question of whether the series converges or not. Over here, we're going to leverage an example of a geometric series along with the comparison test. So we know that a geometric series is going to converge if its common ratio is less than 1. So we're going to use r equals 9 tenths as an example. We know that's going to converge to 1 over 1 minus 9 tenths, which is 10. Now, we consider the terms of each series, the first six. So the sixth term of our example series is 9 tenths to the power of 5, which is about 0.6. Um, and the sixth term of our series in question is 1 20th, which is smaller than 9 tenths. So what this says is since this converges and eventually this becomes smaller than this, that also converges. Now, also, we have the Maclaurin expansion for e to the x and the resultant expression for e. Now, why don't we get back over here and since we know it converges, we're going to call whatever this sum is s. Very creative. Now, e is going to be useful. We're going to put e underneath and see what happens. Also, 1 plus 1, we could just be fancy and write 1 as 1 over 0 factorial or 1 over 1 factorial. But, let's proceed, 1 over 2 factorial, and so forth. Now, what we could do is we could subtract these two convergent series to yield another convergent series, S minus E. And we're going to get one, 1 over 0 factorial minus 1 over 0 factorial is going to be 0, 2 over 1 factorial minus 1 over 1 factorial is going to be 1 over 1 factorial, and the result is going to be 0 plus 1 over 1 factorial. Here we're going to get 2 over 2 factorial, but 2 over 2 factorial is 2 over 2 times 1, which is 1 over 1 factorial again. And 3 over 3 factorial is going to give us um, uh, 1 over 2 factorial. And you can see where this is going. This is just e. So s minus e equals e, and thus s equals 2e. Done.